Good evening, friends, and welcome to an order for Compline Plus uh, on this Feast of the Apostle to the Apostles, Mary Magdalene. So we'll, we'll uh, pray the Office of Compline this evening, but uh, in place of a regular little snippet of gospel, we will actually read the gospel appointed for Mary Magdalene's feast day. If you have a Book of Common Prayer at hand, Compline begins on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer, and apparently Sebastian is going to pray with us this evening as well. Um, the joys of uh, doing live streams from home with cats. Let's begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On page 129, let us read together Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our service continues in the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son restored Mary Magdalene to health of body and of mind, 
and called her to be a witness of his resurrection. Mercifully grant that by your grace we may be healed from all our infirmities and know you in the power of his unending life, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I'll do a little bit of silence here, and I'll invite you to offer up your own prayers um, for yourself or Thanksgiving or for others. And I particularly acknowledge tonight all those who are feeling especially anxious in these uncertain times. Um, I think even those of us who are usually pretty non-anxious have an unusual level of um, sadness and anxiety because of how uncertain things are in our world right now. And of course, we want to hold up all those who are suffering from COVID-19 or its effects, and especially for those who are working to find a cure and to treat those who are very ill. On the bottom of page 134, please join me. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for... Um, putting up with my dogs, joining us in prayer as well, and my cats. Uh, it's uh, all those things together. I look forward to the day when we can actually gather in person and um, know that I'm thinking and praying for each of you until that time. And uh, I hope that you are all staying safe and somewhat cool and taking care of yourselves. Much love and blessings. Good night.